Eyes burn bright with old regret Left those dreams I can't forget Oh, the pain, oh, the tide Wash away what I hide Oh, the weight, oh, the chains Sacrifice for the change Tear my heart and build a new so I let this van sit here for two and a half years. It's eerily similar to my hopes, aspirations, and dreams in that they're both rotting away somewhere, collecting dust in a corner. Meanwhile, I'm aimlessly working a dead-end job and just kind of getting by. But everything's about to change. When I picked this van up, I couldn't wait to get the thing running and really just turn it into something cool. Life gets in the way sometimes. You just work your nine to five, you gain 50 pounds, and you're kind of in this weird state of coasting along, paying the bills, and not doing much else. It's like you're always busy, but never quite happy. The time is kind of up though, because this van either gets fixed in the next week or gets thrown away. You see, my wife got this job out in California, ended up driving her out there a couple months ago. We got a tiny little place in the crazy city of San Francisco. I had to come back to Texas to wrap our lives up, get a much needed surgery on my wrist, and end things on a good note with the job that I've been in these last couple years. But what does all this have to do with the broken down van in my yard right now? Well, I'm about to get to that. So, the van needs a new engine and my lease is up at the end of the month. Dropping in a new engine really isn't all that tough. When it's done in a garage with the right tools and lifts, talking about an afternoon to maybe a full day, it's really not that crazy. But all I got is one hand and a dirt yard in the Texas heat. What's going to be interesting is that the engine I got is really from the SUV version. So yeah, it's technically the same engine, Here but we go. there's going to be modifications to this engine in order for it to fit the Sprinter. And that's where things can get interesting. So it's not just simply a one engine out, another engine in. It's a little more nuanced than that. There, there really are some differences that come into play. Getting a used Sprinter engine, there's just no good deals out there. Everyone wants one just because these vans are so popular among a wide range of individuals and you know they put a lot of miles on them so it's not uncommon to pay five or six thousand dollars for a used engine with 150,000 miles on it for a sprinter van the good news is that these suv ones are similar enough that with a little bit of finessing you can make them work with a sprinter and they're about half to a quarter the price, so you can really get a good deal. I'm just hoping that I can document this process well enough that other people will feel confident in replacing the engines on their vans with an engine from one of these SUVs. Sacrifice for the change. 